Hey, good morning, everybody. Ah, coffee time. Welcome to the buzz. For those of you traveling through Arizona, I just want to mention that State Road 88 between Tortilla Flat and State Road 188 near Roosevelt Lake is still closed. Um, the Apache Trail is unpaved dirt road and it's pretty bad. It appears that the mainly unpaved dirt road near that burn scar of the Woodbury fire is uh, totally washed over. So if you're traveling that way, be careful and be aware. I'm not a weather forecaster, but I just wanted to mention a little bit about the weather. And even in the Midwest, it's been extremely warm so warm that they closed the schools in Columbus, I read today, because the humidity was so high. Okay, so more information for the buzz. Okay, let's move on. Now that we got the weather down, I've been watching, of course, I watch all the time, I watch Full Tiny House, and you wonder sometimes how difficult is it to take a family of five on the road full time? Now, I know that you probably have watched Full Tiny House, and if you haven't, you need to go over there and check out their station. They've been seeing some beautiful sights all along the California, Oregon, Washington coast, where I was met them earlier this summer. But in this next video that Dana put and Steve put out, Dana shows you her preparing a meal for a family of five. And then they go and look for gas and trying to get a good deal from one location being $3.99 a gallon to another that they found, which was a great deal, was like $3.05 a gallon, something like that. Check out Full Tiny House here in this clip. And a shout out, happy birthday to Six String Steve. Yeah, he's got a birthday. Happy birthday, Steve. Wish I was there to celebrate, but we'll Today I am later. cooking some different things. I made some somewhat homemade uh, soup with just a base. $3.99. We're in California, right. folks. Okay, yikes. We just got finished at Walmart. We found this quick stop. It's $3.05, which is awesome, considering we just spent $3.99. And then it's this guy's Three. birthday. He's the big 5-2. Five 5-2. Two? Five two. <laughs> big 5-2. So we're going to do this place called Hamburger Ranch and Barbecue. Hi. Happy birthday, babes. Thank you. You're welcome. So remember a couple of Buzz episodes previously when I told you that RV Deb's journey, RV Deb's was going on a trip? Well, in her video chat, she did a chat the other day, and in one of her videos, her latest video, she talks a little bit about her trip to the Windstar Casino. Watch this. Oh, check out her channel. For too. those of you who weren't in the chat, I had a, I will, I will say that I had a really wonderful um, two nights in the uh, uh, Oklahoma Windstar World Casino and my friends Carolyn and Mike were, they had their room and we just had such a nice time together. I really like them. We have, we have a lot of fun together. Um, we, I, you know, I gambled my little butt off. I so let's take a look at Rossi Poo. Let's check in on him. He is in Traverse City, Michigan, doing a walk around the city, giving everybody a tour in his latest video. Let's check out Ross and his new haircut. You know, he has no hair anymore. I like the haircut, Ross. Thumbs up. I wanted to go upstairs without checking in anywhere. Check out his station, Rossi Poo. There's no one even there. I just wanted to show you the the hall, it's really big. Oh man. Oh well. Maybe next time, right? I don't want to just like walk in somewhere and without permission. You know how it is. So we'll go back outside. This is always lots of outdoor eating. Hey everybody, I'm back from the beach, just sitting around, and I just wanted to tell you to check out K 
Kelly Doyle. Yeah, Kelly Doyle's back on the scene. Kelly and Sophie Doyle, Kelly and her dog. And if you watch her video, Kelly's got a video out about stealth camping and city living, being in the city and trying to stealth camp. And it's going to be in two parts. It's going to be in part one and part two. Here's a little bit clip from her new video. Go to her channel, check it out, part one and part two. Honey. Oh, Lordy. Hang on. Okay, so in this video, we're going to do a quick update, and then we're, I'm going to talk about my experience, city dwelling, what they call stealth camping for four months, because my experience, as usual, has not been like the experience I was seeing on the videos. <laughs> so we're going to talk about top five pros, uh, pros, cons, and, and, and uh, tips. My brain's not working. That's a part of the reason why we haven't, and we're just going to do this. We're going to do this. Hey guys, a quick note. So my five minute video turned into 33 minutes. I got it down to 26, so I have to split it in two. I think everybody pretty much agrees, in most cases, but not all, that sometimes the dinette seems to be just a waste of space. You know, I converted my dinette into a, into a pit group, kind of a, a U-shaped sitting area. I took out the table and I put in a cut of board to fit here and then I made a cushion all the way across so I could sit and watch TV and I have my little curtain above but anyway I like yellow so I think you'll agree that sometimes this space is wasted well Eric believes the same thing he said why waste all that space when you can have so much more room in your home especially when it's a full-time home so take a look at Eric's video when he shows you what he does with his dinette area and how he renovates his dinette area and some of the things that he does to his RV. Seems like we always are remodeling something. So what do we got going on today? Um, well, we have at least the start of something big. Um, as you know, when I got this RV, I'd mentioned lots of projects, several things I was gonna do to make this my home. Uh, to make it more functional. Uh, and I've been showing you throughout the process, little by little, how we make some changes. And uh, the next thing on my list is the same thing I did to Yoda. Uh, once again, I'm going to re be removing the entire four-person dinette. And um, this is going to take a little bit to get through, so I'm going to wait till I get everything all completed before uploading this video that you're watching right now. So you get to watch the whole thing from start to finish in this one video, even though it's going to take a couple weeks to get the entire process all completed. Well, it's been a long day, but it's been a great day. Thank you for joining me on the bus. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, hopefully, and leave me a comment what you thought of today's episode. I hope I see you on the next buzz. Thanks for joining me. Mwah.